Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning. I'm in the backyard getting the dog out and gonna have a cup of coffee and I gotta get on the road. What I noticed about this jacket is it's nice because it covers up where my left boob decides it likes to finger paint. For some reason, that's the only side that gets paint on it on my shirts. So the jacket covers that up so I can kind of look presentable. Yeah, I look presentable, but it's keeping the sun off me. I love that. My arms have not swollen since I got this jacket. I'm so happy that I'm going to be taking a three-hour drive and then spending the day in the car where the sun is always somewhere on my body. And I'll be covered. Very happy about that. Seriously, this dog is like a picture. Look at her. Look at Margo. Margo! Hey! Hey! Okay, on the road, and I'm minus one dog plus, plus Darth Vader. I'm getting rid of my chair. Uh, my husband literally hates that chair. So, remember the pillow I said that's the hill I'm gonna die on? Compromises were made. <laughs> I could probably sell it, but I'm like, I'm going to the thrift store to donate a bunch of stuff, so I figured, what the heck? get rid of it. And then it's not sitting in my garage. Um, Darth Vader's with me. Seriously. No dog, but I got Vader. Going to the thrift store too. Victoria has, she likes Star Wars, but she's grown out of having Star Wars in her room. My daughter's a little odd because like she got invited to a Star Wars party where you got to dress up as your favorite character from the movies. And in a sea of Princess Leia's, my daughter was Darth Vader. And I'm like, that a girl. <laughs> I never laughed so hard when I left her there. Because I walked in and it's all bun-headed Princess Leia's. And I was just like, here, Darth Vader's here. <laughs> She's their own girl. For sure. But I'm going to get to get my groceries, drop this off at the thrift store. And then my day is like blogging. Blogging. I had a, another comment on this channel where somebody said, you talk too much. You know what? Go somewhere else. I'm going to talk too much. Yeah. I delete them and then block that person because I figure you're not my demographic. You're never going to subscribe if you think I talk too much because I talk too much. Anywho. While I'm donating to the thrift store. <laughs> I mean, as long as I'm there, I might as well look around see what they've got for me. I have to hit the bank too. I can't forget to go to the bank. Otherwise, you'll have no money for the garage sale of the century. Probably not the garage sale of the century, but it'll be really good. It'll be a good one. Definitely of the year, one of the top of the year. So then if I talk too much, I've decided that I'm going to do the rest of this episode as a mime. <laughs> Okay, I decided to hit the bank first because that's the one thing I'm going to forget. The rest of it, I'm not going to forget because I've got, you know, text messages going, pick up your groceries, pick up your toilet paper. <laughs> and Darth Vader's right here, so I'm not going to forget to go to the thrift store and make my donation, but I might forget my money. Like, I'll get all the way home. I don't live near my bank, so I'll get all the way home and go, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> are you, damn it! <laughs> I need my money! Oh my god, I'm not lying. It's that bad, guys. It's that bad. I'm just dingy as all get out. Sorry, mime. You got it, right? <laughs> all right, we 
including my donations, including my cash donations for staying cute too often. Oh, yes, I made a purchase. We'll do a thrift haul when I get home. Walmart is sending me a text going, hey, close, where are you? So I'm uh, late apparently. All right, I need to do the haul before my husband gets home. Because <laughs> I'm gonna get it all put away. Um, no, we're not fighting. I'm trying to avoid that. Here is a pillow insert. So I get these whenever I find them for a good price because if you make pillows at all, you know how expensive they are. And I don't make pillows. My mother-in-law, who's just a lovely lady, who's also gonna be helping me at Junk Bonanza this fall, makes them for me. <laughs> so in the winter now, um, she's retired. She, you know, does up quite a few pillows for me. And it's really nice to have unique pillows made from vintage fabrics and flower sacks and whatever. I go, you know what, this would be great. <laughs> you know, and she fixes wedding dresses. And she goes, yeah, well, I have time. So she does that for me. And she does a beautiful job. Speaking of vintage fabrics, look at this. I just had to. I don't know if I'm going to wear it at Junk Bonanza because I really want to create my own. But look at it. It's all pink gingham with hand-done um, cross-stitch flowers on it. It was $1.50. If there's no stains on it, it's just... Adorable. Anyway, the pillow form was two dollars. I forgot to mention that. I forgot to mention that. I don't know. If you're from Minnesota, your dog needs boots. So these are winter boots for uh, little Miss Margot, and they were a dollar. And they appear to be large enough to fit her paws. Um, when it's twenty below, it's really bad for the dogs out there. So my old dog, he had to get used to them and we would put them on him and people kind of made fun of him because he was wearing sled dog boots and they would go up to like his shoulder and then my mother-in-law started making uh, little ones for him. And then suddenly everybody was wearing them. I'm a trendsetter is what I am. But he, you know, his, his paws would like bleed. It would be so cold and he'd be out on a sidewalk or the driveway. Here she is. You can sneak up behind me and make faces in the camera. Margo, look, Margo, <gasps> hi. <laughs> She has not been happy since going to the trainer yesterday. She is terrified I'm going to leave her. You know, in the last couple of days when I've gone places, I put her in the kennel and she gets really upset. I had to buy this, it was a dollar. Look at this doily. And it's in the blue. So I find these all the time in just plain white and sometimes pink trim or red. I very rarely find the soft blues. I love blue. I am going to clean it. I'm probably gonna get some retro clean on it just because I feel like it's a little dingy. It's, it's got a smell. <laughs> they always have a smell. They always have some kind of smell because family members don't want them anymore. I have my grandma's doilies. I cannot even conceive of a day where I'm like, check that out. Oh, I don't want that anymore. I think they're beautiful. And my great aunt Dorothy made a lot of them. So I kept them. I'm very sentimental. I got this tin. So this was, I didn't even look, $2. I like it because it has the pine cone motif on it. Um, fall is coming fast. I might throw a coat of paint on it. I might not. It had the wood handle. So this will be great just to put little pumpkins and things like that in the fall in the booth. So this is a booth item. It's not a Junk Bonanza item. Which, didn't I say I wasn't gonna buy anything that's not Junk Bonanza? Uh, this is also a booth item. <laughs> this one was $3. This has got like some kind of back stamp on it. Wall pockets are always super popular. I don't like the dark metal. This is gonna get a coat of white paint and distressing. So the dark metal does nothing for my clientele at the booth, but the ball pockets, I don't get it. I totally don't get it. I would never hang this up. I sell a lot of things that I just don't get. This is one of them. Wall pockets, um, okay, you want them, I get it. I get that part. I don't understand why I feel like this is clutter, but 
<laughs> I am the queen of clutter. What I can't judge. Okay, vintage tin. Um, this is a larger tin. These I use. I'll use a junk bonanza. I'll use this one. It's, it doesn't doesn't have the barcode on it. Always look. Make sure there's no barcode. That is an indication of an older tin. I will put this in junk bonanza to make to lift things. I mean, obviously it'll still be for sale. I, I could even put it as a backdrop to something because it's got great color on it. But uh, people want them. I don't know why. Again, I don't know why. I would never have that in my house. But it was 25 cents, so I got two. This also had no barcodes. This is uh, Hillman's Chicago Oak Park Fine Collections Candy Tin. Uh, older one. No barcode. Got a different color to it. Uh, Junk Bonanza will be in the fall, technically, so it's September. Okay, first of all, this was a dime. I think it's a bread knife, a wooden bread knife, right? So it's gonna go inside one of my many iron stone pitchers with all the other wood tools that I've picked up recently. But I had not seen one of these before, a little serrated wood knife. So I bought it. I mean, if I haven't seen it, I buy it. It's like it's something. And then I got Naughty Betty napkins for 75 cents. So cocktail napkins, they're brand new in the package. But it says, look who's all grown up and ready for colonoscopy. <laughs> my mother-in-law has been hounding my brother-in-law and my husband about colonoscopies. <laughs> I had to do it. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Not funny. That's <laughs> what I think my husband's gonna think. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. Very funny. <laughs> I'm gonna put the junk bonanza stuff in that. If I don't wear it, it'll be sold there. I gotta get these priced and cleaned for junk bonanza. This is booth stuff. Okay. The last thing I got, I think this is, yeah, this is the last thing I got, was um, thermal surf. They had a complete set of thermal serve glasses, pitcher, and the Lucite tray. It was two dollars. It was two dollars. Um, I'm not sure about this pattern. I think it's more of an 80s thing. It's got hummingbirds on it. I'm gonna put it in the booth. Thermal serve is still really popular. So people like it because it, A, it actually does keep your beverage colder and it doesn't sweat. So like if you take this set out to your patio, it's not gonna sweat. And if you're out on a patio and it's hot and you know, you're from the South or anywhere that's not like the Arctic Circle, you have a warm day at some point. Cold beverage, warm day, sweaty glass, glass on a patio, crash. Everybody's got bare feet. We now have a problem. Not with thermal serve. <laughs> so I got the whole set. So it's five glasses, a pitcher, and the tray. And one of the glasses was kind of janky. So I'm going to chuck that one. And it will be four glasses, a pitcher, and a tray. I like when there's the extra one that's janky. It's like, just get rid of it. Why are you even putting it out there? And then it's a set of four that don't look gross. And then, uh, yeah, what does this say? 1982, I was right, looks kind of 80s to me. 1982. It's not old enough for junk bonanza, I don't think. 40 years, yeah, it is. It's old enough for junk bonanza. I could take it to junk bonanza. That's it for my junk haul. It's not gonna be a daily vlog, it's gonna be a junk haul because tomorrow you will see, now here's how this goes, tomorrow you will see an unboxing for a product that was sent to me. There'll be a blog post for the same thing. And then you will see this the next day and then hopefully coming up, you'll start seeing them. Yeah, then it'll then I'll start being hauls from the all city sale coming up. You guys, I don't even, I'm so excited to go to the all city sale. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I've got to go before I completely lose my mind. But the, hopefully the next you'll see are the all city sales. Happy junkin. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.